This video will show you how to set up and configure the SST PB3 CLX RLL module. It's a very straightforward and simple uh, task to do. We start by um, opening the SST ProQS configuration tool from our list of masters. So we expand that. We're going to select the SST PB3 CLX master. Double click it. This opens up. Um, we can check the uh, AOP for the add-on profile. We're going to be using that in, in Logix. And the station number, uh, we can set it to anything, but we're just going to leave it at zero for the default uh, parameters. There's nothing, nothing to set there. Uh, CLX options, uh, we can leave that as default or, or set it to Word. And then in the comm channel, uh, we're going to use Ethernet IP to communicate to the uh, module. So the network interface card is the um, IP address of your PC. In case you have more than one, you have to select it like I do. Uh, slot number is going to be the slot number of our module, which in my case is slot 3. And the bridge IP address is the IP address of the ENBT module in the same rack as our card. Uh, so 2, 168.1.9. And we say OK. Now what we want to do now is go out and browse the network to find our devices. So we're going to go up to the Browse menu and Network Properties. Again, we have to select Ethernet IP. Uh, everything should be filled in from what we had before, and we can say OK. And then we go Browse and Search for Devices. The module is going out testing each IP address looking for devices. Uh, we find a device at uh, node number 9. Now right now it has the device ID and the station number, but that's all we know about it. Everything else is unknown, so we're going to right-click, uh, select GSD files, and I already have the GSD file imported into the library for that device, uh, so I'll select it. And now that fills in the file name, the vendor name, uh, and the model. So I'm going to left-click and drag that up to my window. And it shows up underneath the master. If we expand that, uh, we just see it's um, one byte of output data and one byte of input data. Uh, now we need to connect to the module. We can do that either by right-clicking, selecting Connect, uh, or going up and clicking on the icon. So the message that pops up tells us that the configuration doesn't match. Uh, do we want to retain the configuration in the configuration tool, or do we want to upload it from the scanner? Well, we want to um, retain this one because we're going to download it to the module. And now we, it shows configuration mismatch, indicating that uh, the configuration in our software doesn't match what's on the module. So we're going to uh, right-click on the master and do a load configuration. This is going to download this config configuration uh, to the module. And do you want to go proceed? Yes. And that takes a moment. And then the configuration mismatch will change to configured program. At this point, we can put the card online and just see that our configuration is fine. So we can use this icon here, online. And after a moment, everything will turn green, and we see online program all OK. Uh, that's all we need to do in the configuration tool. Next, we'll move over to RS Logix 5000 uh, and set the module up there using the add-on profile.